Hello, Biz Coach Steve here, certified business coach, published author, and professional speaker. Business owners hire me to monetize their marketing because most are lacking leads, revenue, and they're struggling financially. So I help them align their core marketing message that to exponentially increase their leads, revenue, and target their clients with laser-like focus. The bottom line is this. Solid leads are the lifeblood to grow a successful, profitable business. I love the input people have been giving me on certain topics. One topic that did come up was staffing. Yes, how do you handle the problem employee in your business? So we're gonna just focus on that one first. One of the reasons that you have a problem employee is it was a bad hire. A lot of times business owners, and I've seen this, and I have unfortunately been guilty of it as well, I hired the warm body to fill the seat. That is not the right, right way to hire a, an employee, and it's not the right way to grow your business, but it does happen. So now that you're in that situation, how can you resolve it? First of all, you need to have an open dialogue with this individual. That is what I see most, have, what most business owners do, is they pent it all up, they lets it build up, they sit there and complain to certain key individuals in the organization, which, by the way, starts the rumor mill, and it will get back to that individual that you hate them now because you're talking negative about them. So that has to stop right away. You need to have a sit down with that employee and address the situation straight one on one. If you need your HR person in the office, you need a witness, fine, let them be in there, have them take notes and this is your conversation that you need to have with your employee. So let's say you have that problem employee, they're finally meeting. Start asking them questions. Don't come out accusing them of anything. That's the way to put up a wall and here we go with the defense mechanisms. You need to start asking them certain questions. I noticed you did this on this case, whatever it may be. Give them the example. Let them explain it to you from their perspective. It might not be from your perspective. They could have messed up something so great. But from their perspective, they might have thought that they were doing the right thing. They don't know. This is your time to be the leader and to coach them through this. So now that you understand their perspective, start asking questions. Instead of pounding on the desk and calling names. That's not the right way. Ask them questions. What could you have done better in that situation? Why did you do it that way? Who taught you like that? That could be a system problem on how you onboarded the individual. Find out the deep details. Get them to understand where you're coming from. You're gonna understand where they're coming from as well. Then you need to come up with a corrective action. Okay, moving forward, I would suggest these kind of tactics. What you, is your input? What would you suggest as we move forward in these kind of scenarios? They're gonna give you some unbelievably great feedback, good or bad. Take it, just listen to it. Don't get defensive. This way you're gonna find out if maybe you have a system problem in educating and training your individual, your employees. If that's the case, you can correct that right away. But maybe this person is always late. This is one of very typical scenarios. So if someone's always late, just ask them. You know, I, everyone's noticing, everyone's coming to me and saying you're late. Why is that? Is this true? Help me understand why you're always late. And then they might tell you, well, I'm always running late because I have the kids in the morning, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now you understand where they're coming from, why they're late. Why not ask them simple things? What happens if you're late every day by 20 minutes? Why don't we move your start time 30 minutes later and your end time 30 minutes later so they still get the same amount of hours in, but it fits more into their schedule and it's not really hurting you but because it, now it's impacting morale and everyone else because they're all thinking you're letting them get away with showing up late. So find out the reasons why and find a solution. If it's just someone because they sleep in and over, you know, just keep hitting the snooze alarm, great, here's what you need to do. Set, it, set your clock for 15 minutes earlier. That way you're gonna always get up earlier and you're always gonna be on time. That's the way to, so if you hit your snooze alarm a couple times, it's not gonna affect anything, but right now it is affecting anything. And if you don't wanna have that employee leave you, find a good solution that's gonna work for both of you. 
if they are that big of a problem child, then it might be just time for them to find another position in another company. That will happen. We've all heard of Jack Welch, one of the greatest business CEOs out there. One time, one of his employees made a $10 million oops. $10 million. That's still going to hurt the bottom line no matter how big the company is. So Jack Welch brought the employee in. The employee thinks he's going to get fired, yelled at, and then fired. Jack starts asking him questions. What happened in this situation? Got him at ease. The employee starts telling him what happened. It was an honest mistake. It messed up. At the end, Jack goes, okay, great. What do we learn from this? The employee recited back what they learned from it, and Jack goes, great. Hopefully, but please, don't ever make that mistake again. Have a nice day. Thank you for taking your time. Come and talk to me. The employee was confused. I thought you were going to fire me. I made a $10 million mistake. Jack Welsh looked at me and goes, no. You just made a $10 million learning experience. That's all. This is why you need to have open communication with your employees. Work with them. See where they're coming from. Be firm. Don't be their friend all the time. You are the boss. This is your company. Keep those questions coming on how we can help you grow your business and become more efficient. If you have any for other ideas for any other topics, please let me know at steve at bizcoachsteve.com. Check us out on the web at www.bizcoachsteve.com. You want to know more and how we help business owners grow their businesses and start becoming leaders of their business and not being led by their business? Then let us know. Look forward to having you watch our next videos. Please keep those ideas coming in and have a great rest of your day.